Hello, Akron fans! Welcome to another replay cast. This time we're going to be on Cataclysm Ridge between Chitin and Vicarin. This is a pretty old map, or pretty old match actually. But not a lot of people have been uploading their games to game replays. I don't know why. Upload to game replays, guys. I want to see those games. I want to see them be played, because I know people are playing games, but I haven't seen a lot of uploads, and it's kind of annoying. Anyway, so Vicarin is playing Vecker in the top right corner, Chitin in the bottom left corner. This is on Cataclysm Ridge, which should be very familiar. Once again, this used to be known as Hills. Now it is Cataclysm Ridge, because Hills is a pretty bad name. I didn't really like it from the start. It never really fit. It Really, it's more of a ridge. And now it is so named. So, Chitin starting out, setting up his Arcticus to the south of his base. I'm not entirely sure why. It doesn't really block off anything, because when you you move your Arcticus like this, it's usually because you want to make sure that it's getting in the way of units coming in. Normally you go towards the entrances. The only entrances on this map are either towards the back here, which... I guess that's probably why you use Arcticus here to scout out what's going on towards the back. Not a terrible idea. Or up in the front. Now, like I say, he's probably scouting out using the Arcticus in the back right here. I suppose that does work, but it, it does not work at all for blocking things. So There's one thing to keep in mind. So he's going to be careful about units coming in from Vikrin. Now Vikrin, on the other hand, very quickly sending out his Teth and Shinvir. Or, from Meshia's point of view. His Shin and Tethvir are being very quickly sent out towards Chitin's base. So they will... Well, actually, towards his natural expansion. So I guess the Arcticus here is actually quite wise, seeing as players are still in the mindset that this expansion to the back here is actually being used a lot, which it isn't. Not very frequently. And Kaiden, of course, setting up his economy as well for CLP, for, for LCRPs and one QPRP. While Kaiden's Akron goes for scouting, Vikran, on the other hand, his Akron is over to the bottom right corner of the map, which is a little bit unusual. I don't think Vikran played a lot of Assassin games at this point, and really the first, the most natural instinct with the Akron is to just put it out of the way, so it's hard for your opponent to kill it. It just so happens that one of the better uses of it is to scout, but being that Vikarin is playing Vekir, he does have better scouting units to start out with, whereas Chitin playing Grekin pretty much only has his Akron unless he wants to use a couple Octos and Echo Scout. And I guess, okay, the Arcticus actually is visible enough from the bottom side that it is a target, so it does actually work for the intended purpose of blocking off enemies, so well done, Chitin! You definitely were thinking further ahead than I was about that one. I approve. Not that it matters, because it clearly just worked. My approval is irrelevant when stuff works. However, Arcbod coming here as well. The Arcbod being, of course, the common Grekin defense against pretty much anything early game. On the other hand, Vikarin very quickly getting up a depot. Getting at the three minute mark and should be getting Zion Pulsers probably fairly soon. Yep, there we go. There's one Zion Pulser. Another one should be coming shortly. This, this is quite typical. Most players will start out with that and also getting a Zyneveer quick, very quickly going to the natural expansion, so he is very keen on expanding, while Chitin is clearly much more keen on consolidating his own base, and this is not unusual at all. Grekin tends to be very concerned about keeping their own base intact, rather than trying to expand too quickly, just because it takes a little while to get up the army to support an expansion, though that's true for all species. I'm not really sure why Vikrin has gone for expansion, but Vikrin tended to always expand before, before the economy was massively reduced, because Vicar intended to expand a lot. Really, that's a big reason why the economy was massively changed, was... Turns out CISO just expands better than everyone else. But that aside, the... It goes back to the 231, 232 mark. It looks like Vicarin might be echoing out these scouts, or might just be going... No, he's going straight towards the main base, avoiding the Arcticus entirely, and... No, he he just changed the natural expansion. He changed it moving to about here right before jumping away. So at 131 mark should be slight change what goes on there. But the real important story here is these two Zion Pulsars getting skip teleport. And no, this is further than the, actually this is further than the past. Chitin is getting careless in this one. Chitin's over in the present. He's not really built up much, but he's over in the present. His Akron is just hanging out in this base, and he's jumped back to the 145 mark, presumably moving it away, but hasn't actually affected anything, as far as I can tell. So this is very unusual, I'm not sure why Chitin is not paying attention to this. Vikran's chat log seemed to indicate a similar sort of confusion, but I'm not sure if that's confusion at the Akron being in his base, or the Akron, or the fact that his scouting forces were going around by the natural expansion rather than going up 
sorry, to the backdoor expansion rather than going up to the natural expansion over to the north. Which actually isn't surprising since they can take this path, so it's a shorter path. They're going to take it. It's actually the correct behavior. But he did, like I said, he did ultimately get his Shinmir and Tethir over to the top left corner and then jumped away from that. So, here we go. Right at the 312 mark where Kitan is looking, his Shin and Tethavir are over the natural expansion just in case Kitan goes to expand and there's Kitan's Zacron. So Kitan has recovered his Zacron. He did briefly have it destroyed, but it's perfectly fine when he is focusing, so he is doing okay. At least past the, he has okay, sort of. The green time of carried its death, but if he stays behind the green time of he's fine. So clearly he's just jumping towards the green time of trying to keep up with it to be as efficient as possible. Because he can't actually control anything further in the future than that. And Vikran, from his point of view, has he has jumped back in with his iron pulsers, but has gone back to the 415 or 445 mark to try to do this better, I guess. Yeah, the five-minute mark, he had something there. Kitan focusing on that time. His iron pulse is actually doing nothing, not being set to attack, and Vikran probably changing exactly that. Make sure that they teleport in. No, teleporting towards his natural expansion? That's bizarre. There's nothing, I mean, not natural, his, he calling this natural expansion because in practice, on hills, this was the natural expansion. No one ever expanded down south or down north here. It was pretty rare that you saw that. But in the current setup with the way the economy is structured, I imagine people are gonna be more likely to go towards these expansions. Especially, well, with the way the map is structured, it's actually kind of hard to tell because they're both pretty vulnerable. But at this point, they haven't really gone for either. And it looks like Vikran is just going around the map trying to make sure if Kitan has expanded anywhere and getting rid of it if he has. But no, Kitan is not. Kitan still staying in his base. He does have a Faro ready to turn into a Spire as soon as he gets advanced structures, presumably. And once he does that, then we should be seeing some area in this. But six, oh, six minute mark, he still hasn't gotten advanced structures. Oh, there we go. got to say, he still hasn't gotten advanced structures. This is rather late. Normally, you would get it at this point. Vikran... On the other hand, more focused on just keeping his units around the map, making sure he knows what's going on, make sure that Kitan can't get a drop on him in any way. But he is not actually doing much other than just sending these Zion pulses around. As in, besides just the scouting, he doesn't really need to scout, of course. Vikran, wise to scout, but in this case, Kitan not doing anything worth scouting. And now going for an actual attack and getting pushed away by the forces inside of Kitan's base. Vikran would have been better off hanging out in the bottom left corner here just by this ramp and attacking the resource processors, but he did not do that. He'll need to do that ultimately if he wants to actually get any damage done. A third Zion Pulsar coming in as well, and no, instead he is hanging out right at the edge of the base, attacking the Akron, being healed up, but it, the reefs are going to be running out of energy as this happens, and Kitan a bit further ahead, not paying attention to this damage, and not actually doing anything about it. This Akron taking a lot of damage, looks like the reefs have possibly been drained. One of them appears to be drained, the other one still going strong, but doesn't matter, Kitan has lost this Akron at this point in time, so after the 6 minute mark, Kitan has no Akron, he's gotta be careful about that. Moving his Akron away, however, so he will be able to survive, he just cannot sync up with Vikran right now, because from Vikran's point of view, he has no Akron. And thus, he won't be able to actually do anything. But, once the green time comes along here, he will be able to survive that, and the Oshpod coming back in, however, the Oshpod will be able to take care of at least one of the Zion Pulses, the other Zion Pulses probably will be able to finish it off, but... Hard to tell, the Reefs have about half energy left, so there is still a chance of healing up, but one of the Zion Pulses jump, jumped away, another one jumped back, jumping back in, he has three Zion Pulses now, Vikran does. Two of them are heavily damaged, getting repaired, the third one also damaged and getting repaired, while the Autopod as well getting repaired, but the Reefs, one of the Reefs is out of energy, the other Reef is really close, only has about four heals left. And at the same time, Tethyr coming from the north, not really doing too much, but still dealing some damage to that Akron. And Vikarin, is he building anything else? That's a big question. He is building actually quite a few Zion Pulses on top of the one he's, ones he's repairing. These three, of course, do not have Skip Teleport, but he could easily give them Skip Teleport if he wanted to. However, it looks like those Zion Pulses are more just being used for a direct assault. While Tethvir and Shinvir coming from the north, that they were hanging out in the natural expansion before coming in and actually dealing quite a bit of damage. The Akron having to move away, but still the RP is taking some damage and being closed up, so... Just a small amount of harassment to distract Kitan while Vikran builds up his massive army of Zion Pulsers. And is he building more Zion Pulsers? Does not look like he is. He appears to be pretty complete on what he's doing for Zion Pulser construction. However, the Zion Pulsers are able to kill that Octopod. His only defense, Kitan has just lost that. He's getting a Sebi Pod with the Spire, but he doesn't have anything else right now to deal with the Zion Pulsers effectively. 
once the Sebi Bot comes up, it'll be fairly powerful, but against six Zion Pulses, I don't think it'll be able to kill them all in time. It's more of the question, if they can kill the Akron before the Zion Pulses actually die, and it looks like no, it won't even matter, the Sebi Bot getting destroyed before it's completely matured. So, there is no defense that Kitan has right now. I think Kitan is basically done. He might be throwing in the towel, or he might just try to play this out. I don't know whether he has any other tricks up his sleeve, but looking at the map, he... He's have, he'd have to be cheating in order to actually pull anything off from here. I mean, he's right at the unplayable past edge and lost everything. So, yeah, Kitan is surrendering at this point. And Vikran is building a, bringing in his last few Zion Pulsers and possibly building some more. No, he is not. He is content with the ones he has constructed, finishing off Kitan's base. And Vikran already checked around, we saw earlier in the game. So he knows that Kitan has nothing. And the Akron going down in a moment and is dead. That is game. So Kitan surrendering. Well done. Very interesting. And we'll have another game for you guys shortly. So yeah, actually, kind of pointing out in the chat, and this is actually a good point. Kitan made a lot of economy. He made about six, yeah, six resource processors on Liquid Crystal, and at least three, I think he had four actually, ultimately, on Q Plasma. On the other hand, Vikran only had four on Liquid Crystal and one on Q Plasma. He never actually built up the natural expansion. Which, of course, means that Vikran was able to spend a lot more on military, where Kitan was trying to go for a mid-game push. But the problem, of course, in the mid-game push is that it requires you actually have enough defenses to get yourself into the mid-game. And against Vikir like this, it's kind of tricky to pull that off. You really do need to be careful to get a lot of area units. Really, you have to counter the Zion Pulsers first. And then once you've dealt with that, then, of course, there's other units to deal with, as usual. But the Zion Pulsers are going to be your big early threat. And Kitan was not that well prepared to deal with that, unfortunately, for him. So... Very good point there. And yes, Cataclysm Ridge as well is a very small map. I keep pointing this out. It is a small map. It is not a large map. It is not a map you can just throw any amount of resource processors at and hope you get somewhere with. You really do need to have a good military early on. Anyway, that's it for the first game, so I'll see you guys just in a minute. Stay tuned.